Hello my beautiful chameleons and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and this is the second in a new series where I'm trying one new indie brand a month and February we have Clarity Cosmetics. Now if anybody knows me, knows me, I keep snakes, I love snakes, green is my favourite colour, so it was pretty much a, a no-brainer it's green it's called cobra it has snake print on it um so yes i haven't tried anything from clarity cosmetics as yet so this is my first go so i'm not 100 percent sure what i want to do but when am i ever <laughs> never all right let's get a little little brush so I'm first going to go into Boa and Arrow. I love these names. I hadn't even looked at the names. So what have we got? Hysterical, Mamba, Boa and Arrow, Python, Don't Hiss Out, Viper Active, Don't Hiss Me Off, and Snake Care. I love it. I love it. So... I'm going to try and use as many of these in today's look as I can. Um, we'll see. So I'm going to start on the inner part of my crease. I'm not taking it too high. Just to about there-ish. And not all the way along because it's probably about three quarters of the way along. I've heard some really good things about the formula, so I've been super excited to try it. And it was actually seeing my beautiful friend, chameleon sister, Marina, use this that made me really want to buy it. Um, I will pop a link to Marina's channel in the description box below. Go check her out. She is awesome. I love her. And yeah, just say Steph sent you. But seriously, guys, if you like colourful makeup, you'll love Marina. She's just such a sweet, lovely person. Well, this is nice. I blended it up a bit higher than I intended to, but that's okay. I get carried away with the greens. But I needn't worry because they're all greens in this. Right, we're going to leave it at that for now. Okay, so I am next. Oh, I'm undecided between these two, but I think I'm gonna go with Don't Hiss Out. I think that's gonna look beautiful. And I'm gonna pop that just on the rest of my crease and outer V. I don't need to be as careful, do I? I haven't done my base this time. But I did film earlier my Steph Does Neutral and I did my base first <laughs> because, well, it's not really something I, I don't think you need to worry as much about fallout with, with browns. I don't know. I don't do it enough to really be able to share much of an opinion on that. I don't think it matters so much. I suppose with browns you could always kind of disguise them as freckles. That's my my take on it. My <laughs> my daughter's looking at me, shaking her head like, "What? Seriously, mum?" But then she loves a neutral look. 
I'm attempting to learn to, but this is where I'm in my element. And these shades are stunning. I was going to use that other shade to kind of blend them up. I don't think it needs it. Oh, I love that. I love it. World, all the spaces inside your heart. actually add just a, a touch more right in the crease there that's better i don't want to lose the the kind of vibrancy of that green because it's so pretty you're inside the noise i can feel you mm. once you see okay so for the first shimmer i'm gonna go into i've made a mess there already viper active just like black shimmer super excited to see what this looks like um they're almost like a tacky texture are you gonna pick up on a brush let's hope okay you have to kind of scrape a bit with a very flat brush to get it but it's coming. It's coming. Okay. I think for the inner part, I'm going to use a much fluffier flat brush. If that makes sense. But that looks really nice. Look at that. Okay. All the places I hope it means that you come home to me once you travel the world. This is I like this. And it's a pair of snakes, which makes me so happy. I've been so excited to try this. I've had this for a little while, but I knew that it needed to be because I'd already done a a new brand for January um, which was S&B Beauty so this and hopefully I'll get this up on the last day of February but I am actually filming in February I didn't manage to get last month's up in time so hopefully this month will be different I'm hoping I'm hoping just keeping everything crossed right let's find a fluffier a fluffier flat brush let's try you so next i'm gonna go in with python spelt as in like pie like a pie that you eat thon i love things that are a play on words i'm a sucker for anything like that right now you still need to scratch about a bit Oh, it definitely picks up better on a bit of a fluffier brush. Oh, hello. Yeah. I think these would be much better using your fingers. But it's going on nice. Such a pretty teal. Yeah. Oh, okay. I like that. 
I do really like that. But yeah, I do wish they picked up better on a brush rather than having to really kind of dig around and be harsh with it. So I'd much rather not be harsh with my eyeshadows, but then these don't strike me as the kind of shadows, the, um, the shimmers at least, that would smash easily. Let me know if that's something you know of. Are they hardier? Or am I just assuming it because they're kind of harder to get on a brush? Who knows? Answers on a postcard. That's looking great so far. So I'm going to pop my base on and then I'll come back to do the lower lash line. So yeah, just there you are. Okay guys, base is on. Everything I used will be listed in the description box below for you to check out should you wish to. So I am next going to go into Don't Hiss Me Off. I love these names. I love them. Okay, so let's... So I'm going to try and use the rest of the shades. I might miss one, but we shall see. Oh, this is beautiful green. I am having a great time playing with this palette. Wow. That's such a pretty green. Don't you agree? I think so anyway. Yeah, I love that. Love it. Oh, that's looking nice. That is looking nice. And then I'm going to go into hysterical. <laughs> I love that. And I'm going to take that and use that to blend out the Don't Hiss Me Off. These names are awesome. Oh, that is beautiful. Little mustardy, green toned mustard. Love it. Took me out trying to sound like I know what I'm talking about with colours. <laughs> To me, it looks like a green tone mustard, obviously. No, I'm no expert. That is beautiful. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm loving this. Okay, let's get a little brush. Okay, so I'm going to try because I want to use all of all of the shades. So I think I want to take Snake Care. Well, that picked up a lot better. And on again, it's a fluffier brush. Ooh. I'm just going to take that just kind of in between the shades. I like that. I think the good thing, one of the good things about having a tackier shimmer is that you get less fallout because it sticks to the brush and then to you when you, when you do it. You're gone now. Oh, okay, that is pretty. That is pretty. 
Okay, let's find a little tiny brush. You'll do. Yeah, you'll do. Okay. And then for the inner corner, I don't know about brow bone highlight yet. I'm going to try Mamba. So let's see what happens here. Oh yeah, it's going to be no good for under the brow, but oh, I like that. That's nice. You're the traveling kind. It's a known fact. Yeah, I know that. I hope I'll be your friend. Yeah, I like that. Okay, guys, so I'm going to nip off not drop everything. I'm going to nip off, finish my face, and then I'll come back to the finished look. So, yeah. If you'd like to see that and hear my thoughts then don't go anywhere okay guys so i'm back with the finished look let me know what you think in the comment section below i'm just gonna let you know a few of the bits that i popped on my face um so first in my waterline i went in i'm sure this is called silver lake um color pop cream gel liner i thought it went really well and um, the mascara is the elf lash and roll mascara which is a really good dupe of the benefit roller lash um i love that the lashes are from huda beauty they are the style sasha hashtag 11 and then for blush i went in with the pout and shout juicy lucy this beautiful shade here i think it went perfectly um highlighter i used my michaela and glam light part two highlighter palette um and i used blinding the one in the middle on my lips i went in with a combo i used one of the ColourPop cream gel liners in the shade sunny veil vale. sunny veil vale. yeah sunny veil vale. I used that to line my lips and then I used a lipstick brush to pat on some of the Melt Liquid Lipstick in the shade Golden in around the centre just to ombre it. So yes, that's what else we have on the face. So what do I think of the Clarity Cosmetics Cobra palette? The packaging, oh my god the packaging has me. It's green, it's got snake print. I couldn't ask for any more. I'm in love with it to the point I think I'm going to keep the sleeve so I can put it in my background somewhere. But I love the packaging. The colour story is absolutely stunning. I love that you've got the depth. You've got a lighter shade. But they're not boring. They're, they're absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. They performed beautifully. My only real qualm is picking up the shimmers on a brush is rather difficult. So I think it would work better if you were to use your fingers. Um, but I wanted to try with the brush first. They do pick up on a more fluffy flat brush. Um, the flat, flat ones don't tend to pick it up from my experience so far. If your experience has been different, please let me know in the comments section below. But yeah, I'm looking forward to trying more from Clarity Cosmetics. Definitely a win. Love the look, love the colors. Thanks, Jace. So yeah, that's about it from me today. If you've enjoyed this, please give it a like. If you are new, if you enjoy colourful makeup, supporting indie brands, maybe discovering some new indie brands that you hadn't heard of before, then please do hit the subscribe button. Come and join my beautiful chameleon family. We have such a great time over here. And yeah, that's about it, isn't it? Yep. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. Yeah. Stepping in the spot like she own it. Looking like the world is your runway. She can set it off like a gunplay. Oh my. Yeah. Talk of the city with the body. Always getting praised like it's Sunday. She said, baby, what you gonna do about it?